This is James Fox with another video tutorial for Microsoft Word. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Mail Merge feature in Microsoft Word 2010. Now, what is a Mail Merge, or, or what, what can you do with it? Well, you can use the Mail Merge when you want to send a letter, uh, or the same letter, to a lot of different people. Uh, for example, I have this letter that I downloaded from the Microsoft uh, Office template website. And I'm going to pretend like I want to send this exact same letter to several different people. So where do I begin? Well, in order for you to do that, you need to make a list of, of who you want to send the letter to. And you do that by clicking here. Uh, you click on the Mailings tab, and you click on Select Recipients, and type New List. And you see this New Address List dialog box come up. Now there's a lot of different columns that you can use. I don't need the title column and there are a few other columns that I don't need. So I'm going to click on Customize Column and you'll see the list here. Uh, I don't need title, company name, and a few other things. So I'm going to highlight the title column uh, or the title uh, field name and click Delete and Confirm it. And I'm going to do that also with company name and country or region and the phone numbers and I'm doing this because you don't want to put someone's phone number in the heading of a letter and then I click OK and you'll see here at the top I have the uh, exact field names that I want first name last name etc so I'm going to type in the first name and I'm hitting tab when I'm finishing that field so I just typed in John Doe his address is 123 Main Street and um, address line number two is maybe if they have like an apartment number or something like that so I'll put apartment one city will be city will be any city USA the state uh, I'm just put any uh, whatever just putting any state and zip code and I'm hitting tab and it just went down to the second entry so I'm going to put another name and some more information here and same state and zip code now once I'm finished with all that I'm going to click OK now you have to save the list give it a name and I'm just going to label it test I'm going to click Save. Now, in the heading of the letter, this is where I want to insert those fields where I typed in the information. So I'm going to click here where it says Insert Merge Field. I want the first name here. Pressing this, and I press the space bar because you do need a space between the first name and the last name. Last name. Then I'm going to press Enter because I want it. I want to start on a new row. And this is where I'm going to put the address information. Address 1, that's the Main Street address. And then I'm going to put um, address line number 2, the apartment. Then I'm going to put in the city, state, and zip code. Remember, city, comma, state, period, and zip code. Now, these are the placeholders, and it's going to show you how it's going to look when you start to print your letters. So what I'm going to do here is click on Preview Results. And as you can see, it changes to the information that I have in that uh, typed in that list. John Doe, 123 Main Street, etc. And if you want to take a look at the next recipient, I'm going to click on this arrow where it says Next Record. And you'll see Jane Doe. And the name changes here in the greeting. So that's what you need to do for any letters. Okay, now I'm going to create the envelopes in which the letters will be placed in. So I'm going to click here on New Document. Go to Mailings tab, click Start Mail Merge, and click on Envelopes. And you'll see this dialog box comes up. And here you can change the font to whatever you want to change it to um, for the return address and the recipient's address. And then I'll click OK. And you'll see my information is here uh, for the return address. And then I'm going to click in this area where the recipient's uh, mailing address is going to be placed and then I'm going to go back to the list 
select the recipients, use existing list, and I'm going to locate the list that I just created. And click open. And I'm going to go here into insert merge field. And I want all the fields pertinent to mailing the letter. First name, last name, press enter, address lines 1 and 2, and city, state, and zip code. And once again, before you mail anything out, you can click on preview results and you'll see how it looks before you print the envelopes. And you can go through the, each record by clicking on the next record arrow. And that's how you use mail merge for letters and envelopes. If you have any questions, please email me. Once again, my name is James Fox and I'll see you next time.